Okay, folks, uh, here's what I got. Lily Impeller, it's Pyre Supply. I hooked it up on a old uh, computer fan. Knocked off the fins and just uh, mounted that on top. So I'm gonna be putting this in the 55 gallon blue drum and I'm gonna spin it and see what happens. Let me turn this thing on and it's funny how this a little sticky but there it goes and we'll see what happens when I put it in the water get myself a vortex and go from there okay here's my little setup my big barrel of water and I will be putting this on putting it in there and see what happens and uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go from there Okay, here we go again. Had a little technical difficulties. All right, it is on and it is spinning down there. Let's zoom in. Yep. Not very fast, but so far, let's see if I can get power. It's maximum right there so okay I'm going to wait for this to take effect and we'll uh, come back hey okay, it's starting to form uh, I think I need a stronger motor but I uh, thought it'd give us a try anyway but you can see the vortex starting to go okay i'm gonna let this go for a while just because and let it run out see if it'll form the vortex but i'm pretty sure i gotta have a stronger motor so i'm gonna make plans for that come back in about an hour or so see what happens and um well if i have to switch it out then i'll attach it to this video all right i had to uh redesign it the motor i had wasn't quite fast enough to put that much volume in a spin and create a vortex so i got this motor uh <laughs> i was trying to get something in between but uh it's the only one i had so i'm going to give this a try and uh we'll see how it goes okay we're ready to go I, it is in there and i'm going to turn the power on and it's a spinning so now I'm going to turn up the speed a little bit. Dang, that thing's moving. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some weights down there. But, you know what? For testing, I want to just let it run at a slower speed, see if it gets anything. Oop, and my line's getting in the way. Okay. Let's see what it does, just out of curiosity. And then I'll put some weights down there so I can uh, make it go faster. Okay, I'm increasing the speed incrementally and we are getting a vortex. Let's see if this comes out on video. Not quite going all the way down, but it is getting there. Okay, we got the startings of a vortex and it's uh, going down as you can see. But you gotta increase the speed just a little bit more. Alright, I'll keep uh, at this and come back whenever there's a good vortex forming. So, this is the best I can do right now with my uh, current power supply. It's only going 7.7 .7 volts, uh, 4 amps. So I might actually have to get a new uh, power supply or a different one. I'm going to try something. Uh, if that doesn't work, then I guess it's uh, version 3 coming up. <laughs> i got to switch something out. Anyways, uh, it's getting down there, but um, not quite. Okay, this uh, build has turned on a life of its own. <laughs> one thing after the other, it's getting crazy. I had to put little extensions there just so it wouldn't vibrate over to the edges and reinforce the bottom because this thing has so much torque it twists off <laughs> water's getting a little bit murky because of everything oh my god it's going crazy but 
I shall prevail. Okay, we are achieving a vortex going all the way down. The water's a bit cloudy. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking straight down this thing. Uh, I'm probably going to have to empty this and refill it with fresh water. Man, did I have one heck of a time doing this. It was uh, not an easy thing. I uh, had to anchor it with big rocks down there. You probably can't see them. Uh, that's why I'm going to change out the water. But the whole thing come up like it was drawn straight up to the surface. The impeller acted like a propeller. <laughs> it was nuts. Half of the things that I had to do to this build. Anyways, uh, I'll just add this and uh, go on to the next one. Okay, I'm uh, draining the water and all the debris, the murkiness, because I've been working on this so much. You can see the big rocks I put down there to hold this. It was so amazing. It kicked on and the whole thing just moved up. Everything. It's like a <laughs> propeller. <laughs> It was pretty wild. So I'm going to refill this and uh, we'll try it again and get a clearer view. Okay, much better. The water's a lot clearer. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to crank this thing up. This build has been nuts. There's been so many things that I had to adapt and do and change. But let's crank this thing up pretty good. I'm slowly cranking it up and it should be forming any time now all right let's see what we got still a lot of debris in the water go figure but certainly shows everything uh, moving in a circle and there it starts Okay. Yep, starting to come down, and there she be. Oh, just you can hear that. So this is pretty good for uh, irrigating ponds and uh, you know fishing fisheries and various things like that. It's pretty cool. Looking straight down in this thing. But there is a theory out there about using this as a, a self powering device. Honestly, I don't see it. Um, however, I guess there's other things that can be done, but in this particular case, no. Um, I'd have to review some of the videos on exactly what the guy did. I know it was an entirely different system, but, you know, someone said that you can put a generator here with a propeller in there, and I can't see that. It doesn't look like it's going to, you know, produce any kind of uh, horsepower, but it will efficiently mix water and various things like that. So, here we go. That's the Lily Impeller build.